Hey friends, today's math lesson is going to be on division. Division is when you split something up into equal parts or groups. It's when you give everybody their fair share. We don't want anyone to feel like they've gotten more or less than their friends. That's not fair. Division is when we make sure everyone gets the same amount. So, I brought some friends with me today. What you need for this lesson are a few simple things. You need some toys from around your house. You can use Lego characters like me. You could use Shopkins. You could use My Little Pony. You could use, you could even use cars or, or blocks if you wanted to. You will also need a division board. So a division board has nine spots across. That's for the things you're going to be sharing with. You also want nine spaces down below each one of these spots. This will help keep your counters nice and organized when you're sharing out your materials or objects with them. Something else you'll need that I just mentioned are counters. So I'm using Cheerios for my counters. Um, they're small and then when I'm done using them I can eat them up. So you can use food, you can use pennies, beads, buttons, whatever you have lying around your house. So let's get started on my story. I have a salesperson. She's very, very excited. She's coming to my party today. I have a Yeti. He wants to be included too. I have my pirate guy. He's been sailing for months and he's starving. He needs some food. And one of my favorite Star Wars characters, Chewbacca. So, let's get started. I'm going to pretend that my friends came over to have a little snack. And I have 20 Cheerios. So I'm going to count out 20 Cheerios. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Okay. And now I have my 20 Cheerios and I'm going to see if I can share these Cheerios equally among my friends. So let's see if this is going to work, shall we? I'm going to get, start out by putting one in each row. I want to start by sharing one Cheerio with each of my friends. And so far, everyone has the same amount. And I can keep going because my pile is still pretty full. I'm going to try another one. I each get two. And you'll notice the lines and the little squares really do help me organize my counters. Okay, so far everyone has two. We're doing good. But I have to keep going because I have more Cheerios to hand out. There's another one for you, Pirate. And another one for you, Chewy. I can still keep going. I have more Cheerios left. Okay, let's see, let's see. So far, everybody has one, two, three, four. And I can check over to the side where it says four. That's how many each person has so far. But I can keep going. Let's see. Two, another one, three, one more. Look at that. I was able to share my 20 Cheerios equally among all my friends. Each one of my friends here got five Cheerios. One, two, three, four, five. If I want to record this math uh, story, this is what I would do. You get a piece of paper. I'm using this whiteboard as an example of what you can do. I had 20 Cheerios and I divided it among my four friends. So when you see this division sign, I want you to give think in your mind, this means shared equally. Okay? When you see this division sign, which is the line across with two dots, I want your brain to think shared equally. So 20 Cheerios shared equally among my four friends is, let's see, one friend 
It looks like they each got five. That's the one thing you need to be careful with. When you write your answer to a division problem, you're only writing down what one person got, not the whole amount. Because that's what we started with. We started with 20, but we're only going to write down what one person got. And I can see here Chewbacca got one, two, three, four, five. So when I divide tw my 20 Cheerios with four friends, each friend gets five Cheerios. That was one example. I'm going to show you one more example and then give you a chance to try. Okay, so this time my Lego friends uh, went away. They went back to doing what they like to do, playing and hanging out. And now I have some little animal friends. I have a fish and a bunny and a little hedgehog, a squirrel, a bird, and a little poodle. And they've decided to come on over to have a little snack with me too. So this is my number sentence. It says here that I have 18 Cheerios and I have to divide it, which means I have to share it equally with my six pet friends. So let's remember that, okay? When you see that division sign, it means you need to share this number in the front, this 18 equally among my six friends. So let's see if I can do that. The first step is I need to count out 18 counters because that's how much it's telling me to share. And I'm gonna take my time counting because I wanna make sure I have the right amount. One. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen. 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. Okay. I have 18 Cheerios and I am ready to share them equally with my six friends. So now. I'm going to leave those in my little pile and we'll see if this is going to work. I hope they can each get the same amount. One for you, one for you. Oh yes, hedgehog, you get to have one. Don't worry, squirrel, you're going to get one too. One for you, poodle. I hope you like Cheerios. Now, you'll notice each one of my friends gets one so far, but I still have more Cheerios to share. So I got to keep sharing until all my Cheerios are gone. Okay, so far it looks like each person has the same amount. They each have two each, but I can keep going. I still have more Cheerios. Okay, don't worry, Bunny. It's coming. Okay. Yes, yes, yes. Parrot, don't you worry. You're going to get three, too, just like your friends. Okay, now I'm out of Cheerios. So... I've used up my 18 counters and now I've shared them equally with my six friends. So let's see how much one person gets. Remember, an answer to a division problem is what one person gets. So let me get counting. One, two, three. They each get three. So if we wanna read our division a sentence it would say 18 whoops there we go 18 divided by 6 equals 3 if I want to say it in a way that helps my brain to think of it as a story I could say 18 Cheerios shared equally with six friends gives each friend three Cheerios and that, my friends, is how you use this division board. Now, let's just pretend mom or dad or whoever is caring for you at home is busy working. And you're not sure, did I get this problem right? Uh, I don't know, 18 divided by six, like, mm, I don't know. Well, here's what you can do. Under this blue folder, I've hidden something. It's a division board. It's a division finger board. And this has all the answers to the division problems. So this is something you can print from our class site and you could also find online if, if you're not sure where to get one. And I'll show you how to use that. 
you can take the 18 Cheerios that I that I was sharing and find the number 18 at the top. Where is 18? Okay, here's 18. Now I need to find out if 18 divided by 6 is really 3. So now I'm going to find 6 on the side. 18, oh, there's 6 divided by 6. And I'm going to slide my finger down the fingerboard till they come together. And it looks like I was right. It's 3. So if you're not sure if your division problem is correct, you can print one of these division fingerboards and you can check your own problems without any grown-up around. You can do it all by yourself. Well, I hope you enjoyed this division lesson today and stay tuned for more coming up.